Hello, this is the clock guy. I'd like to show you a beautiful clock on my mantle today. It's made by the William Gilbert Clock Company in the late 1800s. This was a very common sight on Victorian mantles back around the turn of the century. These were extremely popular clocks. These clocks are known as the black mantle clock. It's, and prior to this style, similar clocks were made of marble and cast iron. So you can imagine the weight of the top, say, being marble and the bottom marble or all cast iron. All of these parts would have been cast iron and then screwed together. You can see one of my videos of a cast iron black mantle clock. If you want to see how they look inside. But they are very heavy clocks. And this clock shows a couple new, new innovations. One was called back then Japaning, which in America is a toll painting. You see that on like, lampshades and things of uh, Pennsylvania Dutch. Toll painting is synonymous with Japaning in Europe. And that is very fine coats of lacquer, repeatedly sprayed and heat dried. Makes a nice thick shiny coat, then it's polished afterwards. You can see the top of this has been Japaned. And the front which makes it very light because it is wood with paint over it but then another interesting innovation was happening at the time which was called an adamantine means indestructible what it is is a thick coat of paint over top of the wood almost like a veneer and it was very popular that it was painted like this to l look like marble. As you can see, this really does look like marble, doesn't it? This is a, this is a beautiful example of this, both styles. This has beautiful columns. Most of those were made out of celluloid. This beautiful brass face over the paper dial. Underneath we have a label that is in really good condition. It's the London model, patented April 28, 1896 by the William L. Gilbert Clock Company in Winstead, Connecticut. Here's the back. Again, that's in beautiful shape. A lot of these back covers are missing on this style clock. If you look inside, the movement is in also in really nice condition. There's the bell and the cathedral gong. bezel is very sturdy and strong. A lot of these get weak due to the weight that it has to support with the glass and the brass. Yeah, glass is in great shape. Chime it for you one more time. Then 
This is the clock guy saying thanks for watching.